For our hypothesis, the momentum factor, where we're saying that periodic momentum returns, in this example, periodic past returns are indicative of future direction in future periodic returns, it's important for us to generate two additional series from our quotes data that is both past and future returns. Now, to select which Darwin's to buy at the beginning of a new period, let's say that's daily, weekly, or monthly, we'll need to look at the past returns of all data of all Darwin's in the data frame. We'll then need to rank them in descending order of their most recent end of period return. End of day here is an example. We're covering three periods today, daily, weekly, and monthly. And finally, we'll select the top X number of Darwin's in this ranked list. For our simulation, we'll be conducting tests between 10 and 50 Darwin's in steps of five. So we'll conduct a simulation where it goes from five, 10, 15, 20, so on and so forth, up until 50. And generating past and future returns can be achieved by using the dot shift function in pandas, as we showed you earlier. And it's very simply log returns dot shift one, where one represents the periods to shift. If the number is positive, it means that you're looking for past data, it shifts it backwards. And if you specify a negative number, it shifts it forwards. We will be needing the negative number to shift series forwards because we'll also need to calculate future returns in order to compare going forward. We've put all of this into a function for you where there's a function shifted return that returns that essentially shifts it for you. So in order for you to avoid writing, writing a longer construct here, we've drafted a function for you here that allows you to simply supply log returns and the periods of interest as arguments to this function. And we've also written the get top end Darwin's by past return function for you. And this accepts your log returns and the number of Darwin's that you'd like to trade in this exercise. Uh, what you get as an output is a data frame of zeros and ones, where one is uh, a Darwin that needs to be bought on the next periods open, day, week, or month. An important thing to consider here, particularly, is that if one going through the series of data, remember that the entire universe of Darwin's, 5,331 Darwin's in this data set, as it may be, all of these Darwin's did not exist at all points in time. Since we have a minimum stipulation that we're going to trade X number of Darwin's at bare minimum, uh, the top X need to be requested, there will be points in time where those top X are not available. It could be top five, top six, because that's, on, that's the only number of Darwin's available who had active returns at that point in time. To get past that limitation, we've introduced a restriction where we've said for this dummy exercise that if the number of Darwin's retrieved is less than our top X value, in which in this case right now, for example, is 20 in the arguments list, then do not trade on that day. If, however, the number of Darwin's retrieved are equal to the number of Darwin's we requested, then set those particular Darwin's to one. And top underscore n holds the indices for those Darwin's that need to be set to one in this data frame. The output data frame will then contain zeros and ones, where one will be the Darwin that needs to be bought and everything else in the list that uh, did not satisfy the criteria will be set to zero, thereby allowing you to easily calculate future returns going forward. We can use the same functions as we showed you earlier for shifted returns to calculate past and future returns. Very simply pass one to shifted returns in order to calculate past returns and minus one to calculate future returns. We concatenate all of these together and display them to show you how log return looks against past return and future return. As always, if you enjoyed this presentation, please do consider sharing it with your social networks, colleagues, coworkers, and friends. And do subscribe to the DarwinX YouTube channel so you remain up to date with all future videos that will be released in this series and other topics discussed on DarwinX. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.